Hello, everyone, and thank, everyone, uh, thank you all for having me uh, here today. And um, I will be discussing that I think laparoscopy is probably even more than sufficient in cholecystectomy. Oops. So I have no financial disclosures. I do have to say that I am a robotic surgeon. I just don't use that platform for cholecystectomy. So looking at the data, um, I mean, SAGES came out with a safety and effective analysis back in 2015. And overall, their consensus was is that um, robotic cholecystectomy is really should be only used for getting used, um, becoming more facile with the robotic platform itself, and that there's insufficient data overall to recommend routine use for uh, robotic. There are some technical considerations that I personally um, think might be useful. So cholangiogram with the robotic platform can be time consuming. So those of us that work in an academic center that are sometimes working with junior residents requires you to step away from the surgeon console, scrub back in, be able to place the, the catheter um, for your cholangiogram. You have to s remove the instruments, and sometimes you might have to even undock the uh, surgical platform itself. ICG um, is touted as one of the great benefits of robotic surgery. There are laparoscopic um, uh, platforms for ICG itself. And, you know, as uh, it's been discussed uh, multiple talks already this week, is that it's not the end all or be all. Um, laparoscopic equipment and staff availability is much easier to come by, particularly those 2 a.m. gallbladders that you're doing. You can't, you know, not very many institutions are, say, boot up the robot at 2 a.m. to take out a gallbladder. Looking at the data, so cost is the one big thing everyone looks at for robotic surgery overall. And so this is an institutional study out of Washington. And so they looked at um, a year of all uh, various uh, procedures, and then they saw that overall, uh, looking at la uh, cholecystectomy specifically, is that laparoscopic was much more cost efficient compared to robotic. And so you're looking at $2,800 versus $7,100 per case. Looking at payer mixes and how you get paid for a reimburse for these procedures, you can see that laparoscopic cholecystectomy had an overall 31% positive margin, Robotic cholecystectomy, however, was a money loser at negative 19%. Now, they did see with some commercial payers that there was a small um, benefit or positive margin, but it only came in at like 10 to 19% and didn't get to that 31% that you would see with laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Looking at some large uh, database studies, so this is out of uh, University of Nebraska, and they looked at a large nationwide database. And so they looked at benign biliary disease. And so they looked at patient characteristics, 30-day complications, cost, and narcotic utilization. And you can see with the robotic cholecystectomy is that overall, um, overall complications were higher in the robotic group, and mostly that was post-op uh, infections. And you can also see that um, length of stay was also much higher in the robotic group. Now, one of the tenets of robotic surgery is a lot of people say it's better in the morbidly obese. So they did uh, pull that sub-segment out and look at those patients with a BMI of 40 or greater. And you can see here, there's actually no benefit to robotics over laparoscopic. All of the outcomes are essentially the same. The only thing that continues to be um, pervasive is that cost is much higher in the robotic group. Another uh, large nationwide database study, um, this looked at uh, data from 2008 to 2017, and this is at UCLA. And so they saw in the robotic group that um, cholelithiasis, cholangitis, and cholelithiasis was utilized more in the robotic group. Interestingly enough, in this study, actually people, um, they saw the patients that were utilized in the robotic platform, they were sicker. So they had higher frailty indexes, higher rates of um, diabetes, hypertension, and all the other uh, poor players. And you would think that would translate to better outcomes. Unfortunately, it was not the case. Um, so overall, the robotic platform did have higher um, inpatient compli or, uh, complication rates. Um, that's associated with acute kidney injury and gastrointestinal um, issues. And it continued to be cost is overall a prevailing um, poor player for robotic surgery as it was significantly higher. This is hot off the presses. This comes out of uh, Buffalo. And so there, this is the New York database looking at um, early experience with robotic assisted cholecystectomy. And so they looked at data from 2009 to 2017. And so they had a large uh, patient population. 
And then overall, robotics was associated with increased conversion to open, complication rates, increased length of stay. And more concerningly, they actually found a significantly higher case, um, uh, cases of BDI. So you're looking at 1.3% BDI versus 0.4% in the laparoscopic group, which is quite concerning. Um, and then, and unfortunately, most of those BDI injuries were what they considered major, requiring a GI anastomosis. And so that was 0.6% versus 0.1% uh, in the laparoscopic group. Laparoscopy was associated with increased uh, cholangiogram use and, of course, decreased cost. So this is a busy slide, but it, it overall looks at their standard analysis. And you can see with the robotic platform, there was an increased conversion to open bile duct injury, non-endoscopic interventions, major bile duct interventions, meaning a GI anastomosis, length of stay, pancreatitis, blood transfusion, antibiotic use, other GI complications, and incisional hernias. Now, they did do a propensity score analysis that showed that it um, took care of hemorrhage, blood transfusion, and percutaneous drainage as uh, now becoming insignificant. But overall, the bile duct injury and all the other complications is very concerning. So looking at odds ratios, they show that um, robotic colostectomy had 175% greater odds of having a post-op bile duct intervention. Um, it has 69% greater odds of a conversion to an open procedure and had 49% greater odds of having a 30-day post-op complication. It also had, it was associated with higher readmission rates. So one thing we learned from laparoscopic cholecystectomy is at first, you know, uh, everyone compared it to open and there were higher complication rates and you expect things to get better over time. So I think this slide is very interesting. Um, so there's a couple things going on here. You see overall the robotic complication rate is higher than laparoscopic. But it stays, the complication rate stays the same, around 25%, and there's actually a slight increase there that it may get higher over time. Laparoscopy, however, even in 2012, where you know, lapar laparoscopic surgery was not new to anyone, continues to get better as far as their complication rates. And I, so I think that it's very telling that you know, more experience does not always translate to better outcomes, particularly with the rob robotic platform. In conclusion, um, robotic cholecystectomy is associated with higher costs, longer operative times, and higher complication rates. Thank you.